Hey there. Uh, this is Pom Pom Polished, and so in most of my previous videos, you have seen me doing nail polish swatches or talking about polish pickup, things like that. And one of the things I decided to do um, for several reasons um, was talk about or start vlogging my experience with daily weight loss. And so, um, I was previously doing a couple of polish videos a month and then sort of fell off the train because we bought a house and that <laughs> took a lot of time because the house needed some work, um, before we moved in and then the moving in was, there's kind of several nightmare scenarios that sort of went with that. Um, but, but we are moved in and I am happy to say that. Uh, finally, everything is in order. Um, we still have some pictures to put up on the walls, but otherwise, the experience um, was a good one. Um, it is my husband and I's first house, um, and we have two children and two dogs. Um, and yeah, so we are all moved in and everything now, and so I promised myself that once that experience was over, um, that I would start trying to do some healthier things for myself. Um... I am 41 years old. I am a nurse practitioner. Uh, my husband is a butcher. Uh, he <clears throat> uh, is about six foot and he weighs about 218 pounds and I am five foot five, I think five foot four and three quarters really. And I weigh about 275 pounds right now. Um, so I'm about at my heaviest weight since I was a uh, first year nursing student. Um, I think I weighed 271 pounds at that time. Um, anyways, I have been on several weight loss journeys in my life. Um, I've always been the, you know, the... Uh, in high school, growing up, I was that kid that had, like, the super muscular legs, and it was really fast, and, um, I don't know, I was always, like, that thick girl, you know, had, like, the muscular thighs and stuff like that, and so, and of course, I'm short, <laughs> which is okay, too, um, but, um, I've always been that person, and it, it is just the way I was. Um, then I went, when I graduated high school, um, I think I was a size 12 at the time, uh, 10, 12. And when I went to college, I gained the freshman 20 and plus some. Um, and yeah, so fast forward, um, I've had several knee injuries and have had about five surgeries on my right knee. And so it has really changed the way I am able to be mobile really, and so um, it has been really hard because I'm an emotional eater, and I know that about myself, and if I get stressed out, I either shop or I eat, um, and I don't make good choices, and I have really hard time with portion control, really, um, and so I know that my joint, my knee issues that I have would be improved if I didn't weigh what I weighed and so I'm getting to the point where I work as a nurse practitioner work in a cardiology uh, area and uh, I see the vascular the surgical uh, the cardiology patients in the hospital and I can see that they have similarities to myself and and so it really starts to get you thinking about your future and what you want that to look like, and by golly, if I had waited till I was 41 to buy a house, I'd like to be around to enjoy it for a while, I guess, so, um, and I'd like to be able to enjoy it healthily, and my kids are young, they're 10 and 11, um, and they're fantastic, and they are very active, and they love to ride bike and go on walks, and we have two dogs, and um, my husband likes to be active, and so I would like to be able to be active with them. Now, um, I have tried to do, I'm the type of person who will usually revert to working out to lose weight. And that's not 
uh, a feasible option for me because of my knee. I mean, plain and simple, um, there's times when I can get to the end of the day and I'm limping to the point where it takes more work to walk than it does just to... Uh, you fight the feeling of giving up every single day. Um, and I think it would be much easier to be a person who is overweight and didn't have joint problems, but I feel like joint problems also go hand in hand with being overweight, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, and I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. And so I uh, have used isogenics in the past. And the part I like about isogenics is that um, I like the fact that I can substitute two meals with shakes because it literally takes um, zero effort on my part and then a sensible meal. But my sensible meal, I was always um, really hard at keeping um, my portion sizes because that's something that I have a struggle with that and ch choosing the healthier option is always I'll get in a hurry and I'm like I'm hungry I'm just gonna stop at McDonald's and I uh I know that that's not something that I should really be doing so anyway I still have isogenics things left over from when I sort of gave it up last time um, I did see some results with that, but gave up on it fairly quickly um, just because of life situations. And I know that one of the things I need to remember through this process, now that I've decided that um, I'm in the right place to take this, this step, I guess you could say, is that I need to keep in mind that um, I'm going to have setbacks and that I need to stay, just stay on the train. Um, it's like riding the stock market, right? When you have your retirement money in stock market and it goes up and it comes down, you got to just sort of like stay on the train. That's where I'm going to be right now. I got to stay on the train. So, um, I would like to use up what I have in my isogenics and, uh, combine that into, um, Weight Watchers, uh, digital program. Um, I have been... I've done Weight Watchers in the past and been to the meetings, and I'm not saying the meetings weren't helpful, but um, I didn't know. I don't know. I didn't. The thing that I got most out of the meetings was the weigh-in and the being able to buy, like, the snacks that you could use, you know, for small amounts of points or whatever. Um, and so that's what I used the meetings for primarily. The rest of it was just sitting there. And honestly, it's it's harder to get to meetings, and then if I... I found that if I couldn't make it to the meetings, I would be more likely to give up during the week on tracking and doing things like that. So I'm really trying to figure out what my barriers have been to staying on the train and um, and just, just identifying my barriers and then eliminating them. And so I feel like if I... Didn't feel at the time I was being successful. I was somewhat successful when I was on Weight Watchers. I did lose some weight. Um, and I, so I feel like I could be successful on that. It's nice to have some parameters. And I know that I work well with rules and parameters in my life. And so if I had the parameters um, and then the ability to weigh in all those things, then I think that being able to track on the go is probably a good option. Um, so I guess... Um, for right now, I'm going to do the digital and try to use that with isogenics. And I honestly, we're all going to find out together how that works out because I don't even know if you could, I don't know if that stuff scans, but I won't know until I try it. So, um, or if it'll even be like with any kind of points range or whatever, I'm hoping it is, um, because I still want to do cleanse days and stuff. Um, that's one thing I really did like about isogenics was cleanse days. Um, and the far, fact that you, you almost drink a lot of water, you re, you drink a lot of water because of you're making the shakes and things like that. Um, in the past, I've gotten really fancy with my isogenic shakes and that adds a lot of, um, calories, plain and simple. It does. It adds a lot of calories to the, your shakes and then you're sort of undoing yourself then. So, um, yeah, I just... I feel like this is just the, the journey I need to take right now. Um, I have, 
I don't know. I have a lot of reasons why it's a good idea to do it. And the main one being that I'm finally, like, in the right headspace. Like, I've sort of been pumping myself up all weekend that, hey, we're going to start this. I am a person who has to start fresh on a specific day. I need to have a goal. I need to know that it's coming. I need to be able to have time to prepare. I can't just be like, oh, I'm going to start a diet and I'm going to do it today. No, no. i got to get all my ducks in a row. That's I'm a planner. That's the kind of person that I am. So I apologize. That's shaky. All right. Um, anyways, so this is the journey that I'm going to be on, and I will share it on here. And I would I hope to sort of maybe vlog daily and like post weekly um I think that's how I'll do it and uh so I guess one of the first things we're gonna find out tomorrow um I do work um and isogenics has worked okay in the past for work because I can take my little bullet blender that I got to work and I can just leave it there which will be nice. And I could leave like my um, blender cups and all that stuff there too. So um, that'll be nice too. So I don't have to schlep that back and forth. So plus it'll make it easier to commit to it if I have all the stuff at my fingertips. Um, when we went to the grocery store this last weekend, uh, my husband and I, to get groceries, I sort of kept all of this in mind I guess you could say um yeah so I plan on buying um I used to be the person who would like go once during the week and try to buy like everything all at once and I'm gonna try to be better about just stopping at the grocery store you know every couple days and getting the stuff that you need um to make supper to make whatever so that you make better choices and so really committing to the grocery store I guess you could say which is weird to say it that way, but just committing to going and picking up the stuff that I need. Um, and I think the more I'm switching around my foods and being able to get out and do active things, um, I think that it's just going to make it easier. I won't be as tired after work. It'll just hopefully all come together. The other thing that I want to do is I would like to get a piece of in-home gym equipment, which I know for most people and probably myself, I'm hoping not, just become some kind of a complicated clothes hanger. Um, but I'm hoping that if I can do that, I can use it because I don't want a gym membership because I have wasted literally hundreds of dollars, probably thousands of dollars. On gym memberships I do not use. Because you have to drive there and get there. And like, I'm sure this is a, the story for everybody. Time is precious. And that driving to there and back from there or whatever. And I maybe it's because I never found everything that I have to, everything that I do is self-motivated there, I guess you could say. I tried a short stint with personal training, but that was, I don't know. I'm sure that matters, like your personal trainer, what you're doing for it, and all of that. Um, and then I ended up having, having to have knee surgery again, and it was another setback. So I'm just like trying not to put so many expectations on myself, I guess you could say, because I know that if I do it and I'm ridiculous about it, that I'm going to be less likely to follow it if I'm making it hard for myself. And so I'm not trying to make it hard for myself. But I do think that if I had a piece of gym equipment in the house... Um, ideally like a recumbent bike, um, or a rower, a rowing machine. I can talk. I, sh I promise. <laughs> um, those are supposed to be pretty, um, nice to your knees. I know the rowing machine you bend, but I don't really have a, a problem with that. Um, it's the, you know, the stepping and probably a lot of it, my weight. Um, so, I'm, I've done a rowing machine in the past and it didn't seem to bother me much and I've done elliptical in the past and it bothers me only minimally, not a lot. And then, um, a recumbent bike is pretty good and I, um, do enjoy bike riding with my family and my kids. Um, moving into the house has been busy, busy, busy. So I haven't, um, I haven't been on our bikes. And it was raining. 
I don't know. Anyway, so I just feel like that way I could commit to using that piece of equipment for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes a day. It wouldn't be as hard and I wouldn't have to factor in drive time and all that stuff, especially if I was going to do it in the morning before I went to work, which is kind of a goal of mine is to get up earlier in the morning so I can do something active and then get ready for the day, like truly get ready for the day, like not just put my hair in a bun, but like actually maybe put on some eye makeup or something. So like people that see my face from my mask, you know, from my mask, so that my eyes at least look pretty or something. I don't know. Anyway, I know I'm just rambling along on this video and that's the kind of person I am. I'm a rambler. Um, I do intend to get back into fingernail polish uh, videos so don't worry that content's not going to be completely gone but with having to buy a house and everything or not having to but with buying a house and everything um you know it was a priority to sort of cut down our spending because uh having never been in this situation before you have to kind of see like what are the bills going to be like what are you going to be able to afford well, how are you going to budget that and we wanted to buy our house in a way that um, allowed us to not have to change our lifestyle and so that's my goal is to not have to change my lifestyle and so I can still do my figure out polish videos because I really do love that um but for right now um I think July is for polish pickup is a like a flashback month in other words they're gonna um the polish makers are invited to bring back a color that like either people voted most popular or like they wanted to bring or their highest sailed um sales polish or whatever um and so they can bring back one on their personal site and they can bring back one uh to polish pickup uh to the polish pickup website uh for only a few days here in july i think it's like the fourth or the sixth don't quote me on it you can always check um again i've sort of just like anything, if you are hanging around the polish all the time, you really, really want to purchase it. And I've tried not to do that because um, we were just being really responsible with our home buying and stuff. So I just have tried to stay out of that for a little bit because it's healthier for me. Um, yeah, because otherwise I'll go overboard. So, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to try to um, combine my isogenics and my... Weight Watchers and still do polish videos and sort of be active on here now that we're settled in our new place and I do have my own space. I have a whole separate spare bedroom before I was trying to do everything in my kitchen living room of our apartment which was it was okay but I could only really do stuff when there was nobody else there. So now I have a dedicated space that I can use for it and I'm pretty excited about it. Um Otherwise, hmm, oh, uh, the other thing, um, I, was, I watch Jessica Braun, B-R-A-U-N, Jessica Braun, uh, on YouTube, and her and her husband are so funny, and their daughter is so cute. But anyways, I digress. Um, she fi kind of follows this rule that I'm sort of interested in adopting also, uh, which brought was part of the reason uh, that I was talking about the in-home gym equipment. Uh, it was because I would like to sort of adopt the thing where you try to do something active and there you never go more than two days between workouts. In other words, so you're doing something active, you know, about every other day. You know what I mean? Um, and at most, like you have a day, two days off, and another day. And that would be kind of nice for me because of my knee again and uh, with work schedules and whatever. If I have a uh, particularly interesting day at work, um, I wouldn't feel so bad if I missed a day uh, knowing that I'm staying kind of like, again, within a parameter. So I just, my whole goal and this whole journey is going to be just staying on the train, riding it to the finish line. Um, I do have a weight loss goal in mind and I, right now it's to get to 250 pounds so if you do the math on that, that's about 25 pounds, which is a lot and sad, but a lot. And it is what it is. It, you know, I'm a good person. I still believe that I'm beautiful. Um, I am still um, me, but I would like to be a healthier version of me. And I know that my joints, again, would be better if I weighed less. And that is just plain and simple. Um <clears throat> I follow 
um, learning to be fearless, which she is amazing, by the way. She's much younger than me. And she just got married, so congrats, Alex. That's awesome to you and Yar. Um, but she just restarted back up Weight Watchers a couple months ago, and she's uh, just kind of started talking about it again on her channel. channel. And uh, she is really inspirational um, for that particular um thing as well I mean she does she does uh beauty lifestyle whatever videos um some vlog style things and things like that um <clears throat> but she just started Weight Watchers and she's very inspirational too and if you want body positive content she's the chick you want to you want to watch her um plus size Barbie um Sarah Ray Vargas are all some good options for body positive content um but yeah I mean I just want to I just want to be able to live my life but I want to be able to like be around for it and and I have enough health knowledge obviously to know that I'm just not quite doing it right and I could be doing a little bit better and that doesn't mean I'm not happy with me myself and my size I just want to be more comfortable and be able to move around the way I want to with my kids, and I know that weight loss is going to be a part of that, and so um, that's kind of where I'm at with that right now, so I'll just keep checking in, and people who want to follow can follow, and if they don't, they don't, and um, yeah, and we can all sort of enjoy it together, and if you have uh, questions or comments or whatever, feel free, good, bad, ugly, I don't I don't really care, I'm, I'm not a person who's bothered by people's thoughts, um, of me, I guess, if they're negative, they're negative, um, uh, but if you have positive comments, I always are going to appreciate that better, uh, questions, um, thoughts, tips, I mean, literally, I am up for it, so, yeah, so thanks for joining me today for this video, it's kind of been my, uh, foray back into making my videos and whatnot, and I'm looking forward to it, so, I'll see you all guys all soon, bye.